I mean, they're close. And they're too close, you know. I mean, I don't think we know each other well enough for that sort of behaviour. Brassicas don't get club foot, and I have to keep reminding myself of that because I keep getting it wrong. We got one and a half cucumbers, and now he's toast. Finally getting to tackle this one. Haven't been up for a couple of weeks. So let's crack on. Welcome back to the plot. It's getting late again. Surprise, surprise. We've been working though. We haven't just got here, we have been working. So I want to show you what we've been doing. Um, if you've been keeping up, you'll know that there's one area that's pretty much ready, done. Just got to put the manure on, which we're not doing yet, because we are going to be doing manure on this whole bit at the same time. When I say that, actually, that sounds and looks quite daunting. But I wanted to do it that way so that we could just run straight across from the top, from the gate all the way down. But we are working. I ran the hole over this bit earlier. And I've noticed a pea plant starting to grow here for some reason. Remember I lost the seeds? You, if you were here a couple of uh, videos ago, you'll know that I lost a lot of my a lot of the peas that I was going to be collecting for seeds. Still got some beans to collect, but we have been working. These are my, my little sunflowers. We have been working this area today. It is improving and some little tiny sunflowers finally making an appearance. So yeah, it's not perfect. We're not going to worry about getting every single last weed out, but just the main bits. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit more here. We have got quite, quite a lot of couch grass, which I was doing here. And I don't want to put the salt and vinegar on that because I do plant crops in here. So it's still a little messy, still got work to do, but we are making progress and that is the main thing. Oh. I'm feeling a wee bit out of sorts today. Do you ever get a day like that when you can't quite put your finger on it, you just feel a bit... <sighs> nay. You know what I mean? So I'm having one of those days. Don't know why I stopped talking there because I'm still very self-conscious about other plot holders going past and me sitting talking to a camera. I don't think they would like it very much. Anyway, so yeah, I thought I would come up and do some weeding, some tidying, which does, it does make me feel better to see even just a little bit of progress. I know there's, there's, there's a ton to do. I know that. I try not to look at the big jobs. I try and focus on the little ones. What can I do today? That's what I focus on. I don't really think I've got funny stories today. What I can tell you, the lorry would stop tooting. Do you hear that? I don't know. Anyway, I was here doing this weeding and Again, if you've seen other videos up here, you'll know that we have a very over-friendly Robin. Well, he made his presence known today, I'll tell you. I was like this, right? I mean, he was he was dotting about, doing bits and bobs. And then he went like this, passed my head, skiffed my hair. I could actually go, you know, hear that. I was like, right? I mean, they're close. And they're too close, you know. I mean, I don't think we know each other well enough for that sort of behaviour. I don't know where he is now. Oh. Do you know I've said that and he's just appeared on that fence. I want, if he comes down, I'll show you him for a wee bit. I know people aren't, people aren't all that interested in just seeing a robin, but I like to see him. Don't like to have him in my hair. No, I don't. That was too close for comfort. 
I think that's one of the things that gardeners like. You can come up here and have a bit of a downer, whatever way you want to describe it. And somebody comes along to cheer you up, sometimes pretty closely, too closely. That's him. He just hops around and sometimes will get in your way. Right, I'm going to call that quits for tonight. You know, that'll do. That's plenty. We are, we are making progress. I keep saying it, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but we definitely are. It's just they're really damp and it's that stupid little bits of grass that don't want to come out. You know, before I go, I'm going to do some picking. But we're also finally going to say our last farewell to Lazarus, who is, if you've been keeping up, the, <laughs> the cucumber plant, which, as his name suggests, I thought he was dead. And he kept going. We got one and a half cucumbers, and now he's toast. I forgot to bring the water. So I'm going to get rid of Lazarus and then I'll put new compost down the side that hasn't been done and that's this place ready. Lazarus is done. We will take him and that's, he was trying to grow another one. Not happening. I don't know. What do you think? For this time of year, right, beginning of November, Tell me honestly, do you think it's looking all right? Covers have come off a few things. I mean, I know like the fruit area is an absolute mess. I I usually leave that to the end. Um, this area too, although sunflower has finally opened. Parsnips cover came off, cover came off the carrots. I don't know. I know there's still obviously a lot of work to be done, but it's still producing little bits here and there. What do you reckon? A bit of feedback, please. That would be nice. I'll tell you what else would be useful. Um, I need to go back and close that. In the winter, there's not going to be that much happening here. Obviously, I and I've got some roots in the ground, but unless unless all you want to see is ice and maybe a bit of snow and me trying to weed amongst it all. So what I was thinking for the winter was bringing you into my kitchen. I mean, when I come up and it's icy, I'll bring you with me. That's that's fine. But I was thinking, um, like more through the winter, doing some stuff in the kitchen. And if you would like to come along for that, that would be great. Let me know what you want to do, because if you want to just stick to the garden, okay. If you want me to do some, some stuff in the kitchen with you, I can show you what I make um, using the stuff that I'm growing. Or anything else you can come up with. It is tricky in the winter. I do still have the roots uh, in the ground. So there will be parsnips. There will be, I think, one plant left of the Brussels sprouts because I've had that club root in the brassicas. Brassicas don't get club foot and I have to keep reminding myself of that because I keep getting it wrong. It's just the way my mind works. Um, Yeah, so there are things that do grow in the winter but we're not actually doing very much with them so I would like to know what you want to see. If you want to see other places, I can take you other places. I'm quite happy to do that. If you want me to just stick with the allotment and the garden, I can do that. But it will be limited. And there's certainly, I don't think I'd even manage one and one or two videos a week. might not be possible. So right now I'm going to tidy up and go and see what I can pick today. So this is what I'm taking home. A couple of broccolis, a few in there. Got some beans. Lots of kale, and the scarlet kale, which is gorgeous. Got a few wee carrots to take as well. What else? We've got some more kale, 
And oh, there's a couple of little onions in there. And I grabbed a red cabbage. It's not huge, it's not perfect, but it's something. So I've done a little bit here today. I'm pleased with that. It's not finished, but garden's never finished. I think the next time we'll see, I'll be working in the polytunnel at the house in the garden. So I hope to see you there.